Hello friends, this is 1830 PSS32 Nokia DWDM. As you have seen, at the first panel, it's user interface panel, and the second one, it's fan, and the third one, it's equipment controller card, and the fourth one is power filter. In the last, you have seen the fiber tray, and in fiber tray, the fibers has been routed properly in installation. And the next one is equipment controller card and this is EC18 card which is the standby card and also the power filter. So start from the fan unit as you have seen that this in fan tray you we installed this uh, fan unit and uh, multiple fan individually monitor and controlled by any software and temperature sensors are also located in power filter that adjust uh, the fan speed and also we have the threshold value for the temperature like 25 degree centigrade so these fans are uh, really helpful for keeping our equipment cool and our temperature may not exceed due to this and the next one is AC equipment controller card which is installed at uh, the slot 1 and this uh, equipment controller card contains four ports. The first one is CIT and the first second one is auxiliary and the next port is ES1 and ES2. And for CIT we use for login and we connect this uh, CIT port with RG45 and, uh, and this RG45 provides the communication between universal and main shell like uh, I will show you this in next slide the complete structure of DWDM this is universal shelf and we connect this with main shell so that they both can communicate with each other so the next one is complete ports for user interface channel as one by one I will explain what what is the function of these ports like first one we patched for alarms to provide standard alarm warning and the next one is OAMP port which is the LAN port we connect this RG45 and uh, through uh, RG45 we connect it with our business customer to give them network access like uh, you have we have Cisco and Juniper and we want to connect this with Cisco and Juniper so we use this for uh, OAMP port and the next one is voice over IP services like telephonic communication any customer want uh, voice over IP services so we assign this port to this VOIP to customer the next one is used for ramp lamp like alarm port but operate a lamp on the top of the rack and the next one is two serial port like you know USB port and DB9 which is used for this shelf Next part is SFT, which is a device mounted externally to 1830 PSS shell in its own rack and uh, we connect this fiber optics with SFD44. This is basically, we connect this for fiber optics like uh, add or drop multiplexers. From the EC equipment controller card, these fibers are directly connected with this SFD so next uh, the fiber is connected with with our equipment as you have seen there with line and client cards so this is all about uh, DWDM and you have seen the complete connectivity and the next video I will make for DWDM PSS 16 and I will explain the whole scenario for its connectivity with ODF and SFD. Stay connected with telecommunication portal and subscribe and share with us.